Hello, welcome you all to the family of Bio Google. In the previous video, we have discussed about the formation of nucleotides from the pentose sugar, nitrogen base, and the phosphate group. Okay. In today's video, in this video, we will discuss about the Chargaff's rules, which are made. for the arrangement of nitrogen bases in the two strands of a dna arrangement of nitrogen bases in the two strands of dna i am telling again because the chargaff rules are applicable only for the <coughs> double stranded molecules double stranded molecule is dna so rna is a single stranded RNA is a, a single stranded, so Chargaff's rules are not applicable for RNA. Are not applicable for RNA. But our DNA, DNA is a double stranded, so the Chargaff's rules are applicable only for the DNA. Right. So one of the Austro-Hungarian scientist known as Erwin Chargaff. Erwin Chargaff. is one of the austro-hungarian biochemist who has studied the nitrogen bases like adenine guanine thymine cytosine and he has made some of the rules for the arrangement of nitrogen bases those rules are known as chargaff's rules chargaff's rules of chargaff's rules of base equivalence base equivalence base means nitrogen base okay equivalence means the equal arrangement of a nitrogen bases in the two strands of a dna okay we will see those rules one by one okay first rule the amount of amount of DNA varies from species to species. Species to species means here the amount of DNA is different in plants, different in animals. Again, when we take plants, mango plant has different amount of DNA. Coconut tree has various amount of DNA. Like that. tiger elephant dog cat etc every species has its own specific amount of dna okay so amount of dna varies from species to species means every species have a various amounts of dna concentration of dna in every cell so it is not same for all the organisms right second rule second chargaff's rule sugar and phosphate sugar and phosphate are present in equimolar proportion present in equimolar proportion equimolar we have seen that the dna is made of pentose sugar nitrogen base then uh, phosphate group phosphate group but here the backbone of the dna backbone of the dna is mainly made of sugar and phosphate backbone is made of sugar and phosphate so the sugar and phosphate are present in a equimolar proportion or equimolar concentration that is one of the major rule of chargaff with respect to the structure of dna or chemical composition of the dna okay third rule is very much important here third rule is amount of purine is 
equal to amount of pyrimidine amount of purine is equals to amount of pyrimidine we have seen that purines adenine guanine pyrimidine thymine cytosine thymine cytosine so a plus g is always equals to t plus c adenine guanine are the purines thymine cytosine are the pyrimidines so always the amount of a plus g is always equals to t plus c or we can also write like a plus g divided by t plus c t plus c is always equals to 1 is always equals to 1 okay so the amount is always equal purine as well as so when we divide amount of purine by amount of pyrimidine it gives always one or unity one or unity right that is the one of the rule next rule third rule sorry fourth rule fourth rule is molar concentration Co concentration of purine is equals to molar concentration of pyrimidine so here molar concentration of purine is equals to molar concentration of pyrimidine how is that we'll see that so adenine is always equals to thymine or guanine always equals to cytosine or else a divided by t equal to 1 or uh, g divided by c equal to 1 okay this is the molar concentration of uh, purine as well as uh, pyrimidine because adenine is a purine thymine is a pyrimidine guanine is a purine cytosine is a pyrimidine so the molar concentration is always equals to 1 right this is how the chargaff rules are made one more important rule one more important rule that's a base ratio fifth rule base ratio that is a a plus t divided by g plus c a plus t by g plus c is this ratio is always constant for a species for example i am taking one number so here a plus t a is equal to 20 means in one dna there are 20 adenines of course there must be 20 thymines there must be 20 thymines okay then g plus c a uh, g i will take 10 10 plus of course c must be 10 what happens equal 20 plus 20 40 20 plus 20 is equal to 40 40 by 20 that becomes 2 for example this ratio is for a, a mango tree example not exactly for mango tree there are in one cell there are 20 adenines 20 thymines 10 guanines 10 cytosines so the 40 by 20 becomes 2 okay so this number is constant for all mango trees all mangifera species okay and and do not vary by age do not vary by age 
okay means when the mango tree is old this number will not change this is always constant for that plant species but but this number is different for different species okay this ratio is different for different species mango tree it is 2 for a banyan tree it may be 10 for a neem tree it may be 12 so for different trees it is different but for one species it's always a same okay always do not vary by age but different for different species different species okay this ratio is used in a taxonomy mainly the modern taxonomy for identification of the species okay because uh, every species has uh, its own number of uh, its own digit of uh, the base ratio so that base ratio is uh, used by the scientist or a taxonomist for identifying uh, the <coughs> plant species identifying the genus identifying the species family etc any taxon of the taxonomy hierarchy so it will be helpful okay now question is how this Chargaff rules are used in a NEET examination. How they are used in a SEAT examination. How in a other competitive examination. Okay. For example, problem 1. We will take a one problem. In any DNA, in any DNA, if the amount of, amount of adenine is 14 percent, amount of a adenine is a 14 percent now find out find out the percentage of guanine find out the percentage of guanine one of the neat question so in any dna there is 14 percent of adenine the question is to identify the amount of guanine okay to make it 100 percent right so as we said here a equals to t adenine must be equal to thymine so here uh, we have uh, adenine 14 percent it must be thymine also equals to 14 percent that becomes a uh, 28 percent among 100 percent okay so now 100 minus 28 equals to 72 so this is 72 is the sum of g plus c 72 is the sum of g plus c so 72 divided by 2 what happens here the result would be 72 by 2 equals to 36 36 percent of uh, G 36 percentage of uh, cytosine right what is the answer now G equals to 36 percentage G equals to 36 percentage okay like that they will give some other number also in the place of uh, adenine they will give thiamine 20 percent what is the percentage of uh, cytosine there Okay, just you should make out all for a hundred percent. You will get the answer. Easiest problems of this molecular biology chapter. Okay, easiest problems. So you will get the idea when you solve two more, two or more questions. For example, I will give one problem. I will give one problem as your work. So assignment in any DNA, in any DNA, amount of amount of adenine equals to sorry i will take a cytosine here amount of cytosine equals to 27 percent adenine equals to 27 percent find out the amount of amount of thymine so what is the proportion of a thymine so this answer you add in the comment section 
try to solve this by using looking at this example try to solve this cytosine is 27 percent what is the percentage of thymine okay so try to solve this question and uh, write the answer in the comment section of this video comment section of this video okay so that is how the Erwin Chagov has made uh, these many rules for the arrangement of the DNA okay uh, we also asked sir how can we explain this diagrammatically how can we explain this or explain this diagrammatically oh I will show you example so if it is the DNA two strands of DNA I have said you adenine 14 adenines are 14 so you may have adenine 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 so or else adenine 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 something like or cytosine 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 in between so not like this better I will rub, rub this to show you better so there is a long DNA there is a long DNA that is double stranded double stranded so I'll just write a adenine cytosine cytosine adenine guanine cytosine adenine 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 guanine cytosine cytosine adenine guanine cytosine adenine guanine cytosine adenine thymine okay so just we'll cross check these rules with this help of diagram okay and uh, we also know that as per this rule uh, we should add one more rule here so sixth rule adenine always forms two hydrogen bonds with the thymine meanwhile guanine always forms three hydrogen bonds with the cytosine this is very important rule adenine always forms two hydrogen bonds with the thymine cytosine always forms three hydrogen bonds with the guanine okay so when we have adenine here there must be only two hydrogen bonds cytosine 3 3 2 3 3 2 2 2 3 3 2 3 3 2 3 2 3 2 3 2 so adenine it must be thymine guanine guanine thymine cytosine guanine thymine 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 cytosine guanine guanine thymine cytosine guanine thymine cytosine thymine cytosine adenine okay we will cross check these rules first okay here first we will count the number of ATGC count the number of ATGC number of adenine number of thymine number of guanine number of set so better we'll add guanine first so guanine thymine cytosine we'll first count the number of adenines in this dna 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 adenine next 9 adenines are there ok there are 9 adenines in this DNA ok number of adenine is 9 next we will count the guanines guanine 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 11 guanines next we'll count thymines number of thymines one thymine two thymine three four five six seven eight nine we got number of thymines nine now we'll count the cytosine numbers cytosine numbers so cytosine is one two three four five six seven eight nine 
टेन एलेवन सो एलेवन यू कैन गेट द आइडिया नाउ सी हियर ए प्लस जी इक्वल टी प्लस सी ए प्लस जी नाइन प्लस एलेवन हाउ मच ट्वेंटी टी प्लस सी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी बाई ट्वेंटी इक्वल्स टू वन यू गॉट द आंसर राइट सिमिलरली ए प्लस टी जी प्लस सी एक्वल टू नाइन टी इक्वल टू नाइन जी इक्वल टू इलेवन सी इक्वल टू इलेवन राइट इन अ सिमिलर वे वॉट एवर मे बी द लेंथ ऑफ द डी एन ए वन किलोमीटर टू किलोमीटर लेंथ ऑफ डी एन ए दे हैव द सेम रेशियो दिस विल नेवर चेंज दिस विल नेवर चेंज सो इट्स अ बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ चार्ग ऑफ रूल और अप्लाइंग द चार्ग ऑफ रूल्स सो डोंट यू शुड रिमेंबर दिस ऑल्सो वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट फॉर सी ई टी पर्पज बट दिस विल हेल्प यू नीट एग्जामिनेशंस डेफिनेटली बिकॉज द प्रॉब्लम्स अराइज इन दिस मैनर ओनली ओके दे विल जस्ट गिव वन अ नंबर एंड दे विल जस्ट आस्क दिस नंबर यू मिस नोइंग नाइन प्लस नाइन इक्वल्स टू एटीन इलेवन प्लस इलेवन इक्वल्स टू लाइक दैट दे विल आस्क द परसेंटेज दे विल आस्क फॉर द परसेंटेज राइट और इट्स दे विल गिव द नंबर ऑफ बेस पेयर्स बेस पेयर मीन्स अडी नाइन था मीन वन बेस पेयर साइटोसिन गॉन एन टू बेस पेयर्स सो दे विल जस्ट गिव द बेस पेयर नंबर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व दे विल गिव द नंबर ऑफ ट्वेल्व बेस पेयर्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व इन ट्वेल्व बेस पेयर्स इन ट्वेल्व बेस पेयर्स नंबर ऑफ साइटोसिन is 1,2,3,4,5,6 and they will ask number of time in in this DNA they are given the number of cytosine is 6 number of time in is how much ok so you should know that in 12 base pairs if cytosine is 6 ok so other must be equal means guanine must be 6 you got the number out of 12 6 by 6 other must be 6 we will see thymine how many thymines here 1 thymine 2 thymine 3 4 5 6 are there right sorry adenine thymine 6 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We have taken 11. Sorry. We have taken 11. In the base, uh, DNA of 11 base pairs, guanine and cytosine is 6. So, this is 5. This is 5. Of course, uh, the adenine must also equals to 5. Okay. So, T equal to 5. 1, T, 2, 3, 4, 5. Adenine, 1 adenine, 2 adenine, 3 adenine, 4, 5. 5 adenines are there, right? 6 cytosines, 6 guanines, 5 adenines, 5 thymines. So, this is how the questions used to ask. Okay. Either they will give any one number or they will give number of base pairs, 11 base pairs. Cytosine 6, what is thymine? Or what is adenine? That is how you are going to be solving the problems in that. Okay. So, I think this is enough for uh, Chargaps rules. Again, if you have any more confusions, just add a question in the comment box. Add your question in the comment box. Okay. And if you find this is video really useful, better you share the video with your friends or with your classmates. And if you are a teacher, please uh, share the uh, suggestions regarding the video, regarding the teaching methodology. If you find anything mistakes, of course, it's they are accepted. Right? And if you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel so that I can reach you by the better information with a better time. Right? I would like to thank you again for listening to your video till the end. See you in the next video. Thank you.